Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create desktop wallpapers in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is actually brought by one of you guys. We had a question earlier this week that said, oh, help, I want to create my images as desktop wallpapers, and I don't know how to get them online so other people can actually download them and put them on their computer. So in today's episode, we're going to show you how to do the entire process from start to finish. We're gonna start off today's episode by looking at the actual screen resolution of your background. This is important because we're gonna create the document that's perfectly sized for your desktop wallpaper. Then we're gonna bring in a series of photos and resize them perfectly. Next, I'm gonna show you how to export out your layers as different files. This is gonna save you a ton of time. And to finish today's episode, we're gonna show you how to upload your files online so other people can download them and use them as their desktop wallpapers. All right, guys, we got an awesome episode. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how large my desktop wallpapers are going to be. So I'm gonna go into our system preferences here in Mac OS X. Let's click on displays. And then we're gonna go over here to the scale button and just kind of hover over here. And we see it says, looks like 1440 by 900. All right, so that's gonna be our first document size. So we're gonna hit Command N for a new document. We're gonna hit 1440 and we're gonna hit 900. There we go. Let's hit okay. And that's gonna be the perfect size for this background. Now we're gonna do another one because I use a 27 inch iMac as well. And if you are offering different wallpapers for you know available on your website or whatever, it's a good idea to do a couple different sizes. So we're gonna do a new document here. And I went ahead and looked up my iMac. We're at 2560 by 1440. All right, there we go. We're gonna hit okay. And now we've got, this is gonna be for the iMac. All right. So we've got two different size documents. Now I need to bring in my images and resize them perfectly to fit in these documents. All right, so we got our document sizes. Now we need to import our photos into Photoshop. So we're gonna go to File, down to Scripts, and to Load Files into Stack. Let's hit Browse here, and then I've got all these images that are ready to be turned into desktop wallpapers. So I'm gonna hit OK, and we're gonna hit OK here. It's gonna open all these up. Now this is actually a series that I photographed, um, it's so cool, using, in the Art Institute downtown, that's the art museum, there are all these like really cool miniature rooms in the basement. If you haven't been, I really suggest going because they're so cool. And the first time I saw them, I was like, man, I have to photograph these and do something cool with them. So I photographed these miniature rooms and then back in my studio, I actually built like an entire series around, we photographed subjects in our studio and then I composited the subjects into the miniature rooms. So these are so cool photos. And I'm actually gonna be offering all these available for download so you guys can actually use them on your computer if you want. So this is going to be our series. Let's just flip through the images so you guys can see the different images in the series. We have, um, the series is called a dollhouse basically. Um, so all the different images are women kind of waiting in these rooms for, um, for something to happen in their lives. Um, <laughs> there's a whole background story behind it. I won't get into it, but make some real cool desktop wallpaper. Okay, so here we have our images. Now the image size here, let's go to image and then image size. You can see these are all huge images. These are shot from like a Canon 5D Mark II, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shift click all of these layers and we're gonna click and drag them into each document. Okay, so remember, this is the one for our, uh, for our iMac. Okay, now we're gonna click and drag, and these are gonna be the ones for my 15 inch MacBook Pro here. All right, and we can see they need to be resized. So we're gonna go to hit F for full screen. I'm gonna hit Command T, and then we're gonna go ahead and resize these documents so they fit in to this size, because you want the size to go to be the exact right size of the document. Now, you could actually choose here. If you want these to be a little bit larger, you can totally do that as well. However you decide you want these images, that's totally up to you. And you can go through and resize each one of these to be perfect on each display. But for now, they look pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and delete our background because we don't need it. So again, this is going to be for our iMac, sorry, for our MacBook Pro. And this document here, let's delete our background. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and resize these documents as well. 
So let's go ahead and click on our chain link there and resize them so they fit nicely into our seam. All right. Perfect. And hit enter. All right, guys, so we've got all of our images brought into two different files. One of them is for my iMac, 27 inch iMac, and one of them is for this MacBook Pro that I'm using here. Now, I've got them all as different layers here, and we could go and like turn each layer off and on and then like hit file, save as, and go ahead and do this, but we're gonna show you an awesome technique where you can actually batch export each layer. All right, so let's start with our wallpapers for the iMac. Just to make sure, we're gonna go to image, down to image size. Yep, we're good to go there. So I'm gonna go to file, down here to export, and we're gonna go to layers to files. And what's so cool here is it's gonna take each one of these layers and save it out to a different file. All right, so we're gonna hit the browse key here. I'm gonna to go to our current desktop, current folder here, and we're just gonna call this iMac. There we go. So it's gonna put this in the iMac folder. All right, it's going to name it here. It's gonna say file name prefix. So we'll say iMac desktop, okay? Now we also wanna click on our file size. We don't want this to be PSDs. You wanna use JPEGs for uh, desktop background. And then your quality. Quality of eight looks pretty good there. All right, we're gonna hit the run key. And basically it's gonna take each one of these different layers and export them out as a different file that's perfectly sized. Now it's time to do the exact same thing with our other document. So we're gonna go to image, image size, just make sure we're on the right document, 1440 by 900, that's perfect. Let's go to file, down to export, and down to layers to files. All right, now here instead of choosing, there we go, we're not gonna choose iMac, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna create a new folder. All right, and we're gonna call this MacBook Pro. There we go, let's hit open there. Our prefix is gonna be MacBook Pro. Okay, file size JPEG and you're good to go there. So we're gonna hit run and again, it's gonna do the same thing, exporting out each of these layers to files. And when it's done, it's gonna say export layers to files was successful. Hit okay and you're good to go. All right guys, so how do we actually load these up as our desktop wallpaper? Well, we're gonna go back into our preference here all right, we're gonna go to our desktop and screensaver, and this is actually cool. With the Mac, we can go to desktop here, and I can choose a folder here. So I'm gonna hit choose our folder. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go to our MacBook Pro, because this is a MacBook Pro, right? We're gonna hit choose, and it's gonna load up all of these images into our background. Now, I can actually have it change the picture every 30 minutes, which is also really, really cool. We'll just go ahead and have it be a random order as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our background. Let's just hit okay there. Yep, that looks good. All right, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at our background there and we can see that it is the exact background we use to create our wallpaper. All right guys, so we've got all of our desktop wallpapers saved out and perfectly sized. Now let's say you wanna put them online for someone to view them. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is right click on your folders here. There we go, I'm gonna to go to Compress MacBook Pro. There we go, we're gonna do the same with iMac. Right click and go to Compress iMac. There we go, and now we've got a zip file which contains all the different documents in there. Now, from there you can just upload these. I'm gonna just simply move these to Dropbox really quickly. There we go. Dropbox is an awesome service. You guys have probably heard of Dropbox already. Basically, it just uploads your files instantly online. And from there, you can create a share key and have anyone download these and you can embed that into your website. Now, obviously, you guys can use any service you want to upload your files. Dropbox is just super easy and it's free. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna right click where it says MacBook Pro. There we go. We're gonna go to drop, copy Dropbox link. It's gonna say it copied it to my clipboard and then I can just put it in any web page that I want. So anyone who clicks on that link is gonna be able to download all of these desktop wallpapers perfectly sized. And as a bonus, we're actually including these desktop wallpapers as a download on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. You can see it really doesn't take too long to create an entire series of awesome desktop wallpapers in Photoshop. Just follow these key steps.
First decide on your screen resolution. This will allow you to create the right documents that are gonna be perfectly sized for a desktop wallpaper. Then it's time to import your images. We went to file, down to scripts, and to load files into stack. Then I chose all the images that I wanted to be as my desktop wallpaper and hit okay. Next, we drag these images into our two documents and resize them perfectly so they're gonna show up great at each resolution. Next, it's time to get each one of these layers out to an individual file. So we went to File, down to Export, and then Layers to Files. This allowed us to save each individual layer out as a new file. In our settings, we chose a JPEG. We were able to choose the output folder and give the file name a prefix. For sharing your desktop wallpapers, you can use a number of services. In this case, we showed you how to use Dropbox, which was very simple. We just right-clicked and said Send to Dropbox, and then created a link from Dropbox. And you can use this link on your webpage or wherever, or Facebook, people will be able to download your desktop wallpapers and use them on their computers. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out and watching today's episode. And this episode was brought to you by a fan. So if you have an idea for a new episode, leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. And to get more free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week, just click on that subscribe button on your screen right now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography videos just like this one. Thanks again, guys. I'll learn you later. Bye, guys.